welcome. It's a new day. It's a new time. Thank you very much for joining me again or for the first time on the World of Rose. So before we do anything, let's just do me a favor and just share this video. Just watch parties, whatever you want. Just tag somebody. Just, just share the video. I want to just spread the love, spread the love, spread, spread the joy. Okay. And during the, the show, comment. I'm reading. I'm, I am reading them. Comment. I want to see your comments. Let's start the show. Welcome to the world of Rose. So the first thing you're probably thinking is, look, Leon's got his haircut. Yes, finally. We're allowed out. The barbers are, uh, the hairdressers are open. The barbers are open. And I feel like a new man. It's, it's, it's wonderful to get all this cleaned up. You know, I went to the barber shop yesterday and it was it was a whole experience you know so when i arrived the my barber was there he had the mask on he had this plastic thing covering his whole head he had the rubber gloves all he needed was a rubber apron and he would have looked like dexter so anyway i got in there i have to have my mask on as well and i'm thinking how the hell is he gonna cut my hair with the mask so I'm sitting down in the chair. I'm looking around. There's not, there's not many people in there. There's a couple of people in corners getting their hair cut or whatever. There's a lot of space. And now the good thing is everybody's keeping their social distancing. You know, the barber's doing a great job, like with all his protection. And this was the first time in my life that I've never had the barber's nuts on my elbow. Welcome to the world of Rose. Look, I know some of you are still in, on lockdown. Uh, don't worry, we'll be over soon. We will be able to, able to go out, you know. But I just realized I spent a lot of money on this haircut. They put up the prices because now we have to pay for the disinfectant and stuff like that. Not a problem. So I'm happy with my cut. But this is the first time I've ever had a beard. And I just spent a lot of money on this beard. And you know what? I realized just now, what was the point? Anytime I go out, I'm going to be wearing this. Welcome to the world of Rose. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to bring on my partner in crime, the man all the way over in Vancouver Island. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chris Wood. So, Chris, how you doing, man? Hey, buddy. Oh, man. Great week. Great week. Yeah? What's been going on? Tell me. Well, listen, man, you know, I, you know, we all have so much time on our hands, right? So I was thinking, yeah. you know, what, what's something that I really need to dig into that I haven't in a while? And I was like, you know what? My old black book. Yeah. Ooh, that's not yeah. the best I'm talking idea. girls. I'm talking girls I haven't seen in like 25 years, man. And I just called them right up. I'm like, hey, it's Chris. Remember we used to get together, hang out and stuff? That's Chris, that's not really a great, good idea, you know? It, it, time has, has passed. Oh, no, man. Like, like the, the heart, though, the heart just grows with years. And, you know, like, I called this one girl, Wendy, and I'm like, hey, Wendy, how's she going? And she's like, who are you? I was like, how do you not right. remember me, man? I mean, we used to date, we used to make out in my old, uh, what was it, Toyota Tercel? Oh, Man, the memories. And then I called this girl Barbara. I'm like, who's called Barbara anymore, right? And so I called her. I'm like, hey, remember me? We used to hook up on weekends. And she's like, don't call me ever again. <laughs> you know, they're so funny, these women nowadays. It's so complicated. I'm just trying to figure it out. It's COVID, man. What the hell do you expect me to do? Dude, I don't know, man. It's just... Welcome to the world of Rose. For some reason, people keep tagging me in a damn video for a breakfast TV program. And I don't know what it has to do with me. We're gonna sit down here and watch this video together. Hi, had a good weekend? Okay, we're gonna start first of all by just giving a little skip into that position, right? And your legs are very straight. And you roll your shoulder and then you turn your head. And then you move that position there. One, two forward back okay we do it both sides should we try it okay go and then you turn right 
what is going on with that vest and those tight shorts those shorts are so tight i can see what you had for breakfast the boots okay double it that's it he's ripped though i i, I can understand why people might wanna say something he, he He's been working out. Okay, move, turn. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Again. Now, the second one. That's it. And the last one. Move. Come on, move. Move. Okay, that's all the time we have today. But you have a good weekend and keep working on it. And we'll come back to you next week, okay? He looks nothing like me. I don't have the same hair as him and Terry. So stop tagging me. Babe, did you hear that? I heard something in the kitchen. Hey, Google, turn on the lights. Google, lights off. Google, lights on. Babe. <sighs> Babe, wake up. Huh? What's up? What's up? Well, I was in a deep sleep. Deep, very deep. You think there's somebody inside the house? No, 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 no. I don't think I heard anybody wearing high heels in the living room. Go check. I, I can't go right now. Can you check? You want me to check? Okay, if you look in that direction, I'll, I'll, I'll go downstairs. Oh, because that's really manly, right? Like, protect your woman. Let the woman protect the guy. I object to that. I stopped that woman from jumping in front of you in the queue in Ikea. You know what? I should go check. Because I could probably actually kick his butt. I don't know about kick his butt, but if you talk to him, that might scare him away. And you know what? My ex-boyfriend would have done that in a heartbeat. Now, why every time something happens, you have to talk about your ex-boyfriend? The guy was shorter than you. But yeah, whatever. I let him just rob us. Go check. Okay, okay, I'm going. Google, lights off. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Leon Rose. Today, I'm very lucky to be in these beautiful surroundings. I'm in the palace of a one King Abu Jella of the African nation Kafanda. Never before have Western cameras been inside this palace. And I'm very lucky to be joined by King Abu Jella right now. Welcome, King Abu Jella. I guess, King Abu Jella, the first question is, why this interview now? The language of my country is only spoken by three people. So now I can speak English perfectly. And now I can speak to the, the, the BBC. Wow, okay. Who taught you English? A man called Giuseppe came to my village many years ago and he had teach me English. Giuseppe is actually a typical Italian name. Do you speak Italian as well? No, I told you, I speak English and I speak the language of my country. Uh, so I, I told you, I, this man I don't listen. Recently, Marvel has brought out a film called Black Panther, which has kind of put a highlight on Africa and brought African culture to the global stage. How has that affected the kingdom of Kafanda? Listen, I'm gonna tell you the truth about the Black Panther. This story is based on me. One day I was drinking some martinis and I got a little drunk and then I climbed in a tree and then I fell asleep. Then somebody passed by, they see me in the tree. They say, oh, this man, he looks like a Black Panther. And now they have a film called the Black Panther. So everybody needs to know the Black Panther is me. King Abu Jalla, there's little to no information about you or your country outside of Africa. The one thing that we have actually heard is that you have several wives. Is that true? Now, this is the one thing I hate about the Western media. So many lies. 
I don't have many wives. I have one big, beautiful wife, and I love her with all of my heart. But don't I tell her, my girlfriend. I would like to thank King Abujella for allowing us into his beautiful palace. I thank you very much. Until next time. Kofanda forever. Welcome to the world of Rose. Good day, everybody. My name is Chris Wood. And I'm Leon Rose. And this is the news. Today we start off in the U.S. with a Christian singer who has revealed he no longer believes in God. That's right, Jonathan Steingard, frontman for famed U.S. rock group Hawk Nelson, has stated he no longer believes in the old man upstairs. He described the process similar to pulling on the thread of a sweater and one day discovering there was no sweater left. Well, we asked some of his fans what they thought, and they said they were frustrated with having to choose with believing in the lead singer or a man in a white robe living in the sky. <laughs> well, what can I say? Life is difficult, and so are the decisions we make. <laughs> a Pakistani villager has urged the Indian prime minister to return his pigeon, currently being held in India on charges of spying. Apparently, it flew across the border after being released during the Eid celebrations. We recently spoke to a neighbor of the bird owner and he was quoted as saying, it's his own fault. He should never have named this pigeon James Bond. Scientists are wowed by an epic 7,500 mile cuckoo migration. That's right, using a satellite tag, scientists have monitored a cuckoo bird that has just flown more than 75 100 miles from southern Africa to its breeding grounds in Mongolia. That is impressive. Well, you know what, Leon? I did some research, and it turns out there are many different types of cuckoos. There's the black-billed cuckoo, the yellow-billed cuckoo, and of course, Donald Trump's cuckoos. <laughs> well, aren't they a fun bunch altogether? Anyhow. For everybody panicking about 5G, there's a new product on the market just for you. A device costing more than 300 euros promises to protect you and your family from 5G by using groundbreaking quantum technology. Even though it appears to be nothing more than a USB key, the director, a Mr. Delboy, swears by it. Although this is coming from the man that made millions selling invisible paint. And that was the news. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe and stay sexy. I want to take a moment to just thank everybody that has kind of uh, supported me since the beginning of this show. You know, this for me was like an outlet. I needed it. You know, being locked up for two months at home, doing nothing it is crazy. So thank you very much for being there with me. You know, I'm with you and you've been with me and We've been all together, kind of. Um, but I want to say a special thanks to all of you that have donated. I'm, I'm not going to go through the names, the list today, but thank you. You know who you are. Thank you very much. It's, I wasn't expecting it. I just put it out there like that, and you guys have been behind me, and I just want to say thank you. Take this moment to say thank you. And if you feel like donating as well, Enjoy the show. Welcome to the world of Rose. What's up, party people? It's your DJ, Bamsi Extreme. It's crazy times right now. We're all locked up at home. We can't even go out and party. But don't worry. Your boy, DJ Bamsi Extreme, is here. Mom, turn down the TV. I'm trying to DJ here. I'm going to be playing the hottest tracks from now until the sun comes up. So stick with me. Unfortunately, due to copyright laws and Facebook restrictions, you cannot hear the music that I'm playing. But trust me, it's the best. Mom, I said turn down the TV. Oh...
Are you tired of spending all your time and money at the gym for little to no results? Are you overweight and underwhelmed by your appearance? Want to lose weight and get fit without breaking a sweat? Then the Mass Miracle Weight Loss Cure is for you. For a one-off payment of $5,000, you will receive a six-month supply of the Mass Miracle Weight Loss Cure delivered straight to your door. Are you, are you guys serious? $5,000 for this? I, I'm, I'm sorry. Can, I, 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 I apologize. Can we... Let's, let, let's continue. The Mass Miracle Weight Loss Cure will stop your body from producing fat by simply taking just two pills before you eat. My cousin took two of these and her throat swelled up so bad that she could hardly breathe, let alone eat. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's, let, let's do another take. And how long do I have to stand like this? this is killing my back. As a bonus, your sexiness will go up to a factor 10, guaranteed. Factor 10? What is it, sunblock? This is ridiculous. I've tried everything and the mass miracle weight loss cure is my last resort. You know what? This is a joke. This guy, all you've done to him is shave his chest. And you even put dye in his beard. That's the difference between the two of us. The reason why this has got tape on it is because it's illegal in 38 countries. This is fraud, and I'm not going to be a part of it. Keep the money. This whole thing's a joke, and this guy's an idiot. Do I still get paid? Mm -hmm. You play it, Jack. Yeah, I want to dedicate this next song to those of you out there that have found true love. And I'm talking about the kind of love that when you wake up in the morning, you kiss your partner on the mouth. Or even pass gas. And they don't even mind the smell. To me, that is true love. Mm. I know you really wanted me to sing there, right? Uh, I'm not gonna do it. So who's out there? I'm looking at the messages now. We got Mo, Mo Flavor. What's going on, man? Glad you're tuning in. We got Mark Anthony. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that sketch, Mark. That was all for you. Uh, I hope the business is gonna go flying just because of me. So if you really do wanna give me some money to help with your promotion, Mark, I'm right here. All right, who else? Ah, my belly. That was that was like um, prosthetics. It was not my real belly. My belly is flat, as you saw on the other side. Anyway, you know what? Let's get on with the show. Enjoy. Welcome to the world of rose. <laughs> you guys, where are you? Guys, I really need your help. You guys are always over my shoulder and the one time I need you, you're not there. Where are you? Calm down, princess. We're here. So what do you want? I'm a busy man. Well? Okay, well, I've, I've met somebody. Where? You've been locked up at home for two months. It was on the internet. Oh boy. I smell a catfish. No, this is real. I think I'm in love. How can you be in love with someone that you've never even met? No, I'm telling you guys, this is serious. I've even changed my relationship status on Facebook. Okay, if this is love, what's the matter with her? Nothing. She's a strong and independent woman. So she likes weak and needy men? Yes. No, I'm not weak and needy. Am I? Tell me. I need to know. She must be ugly. No, she was a model before before she became a humanitarian aid worker in Africa. Wow, what kind of model? Probably from Playboy or one of those other nasty magazines that you have underneath your bed. She was a hand model for Nike shoe wear. What? Anyway, what do you want from us? Hmm. Come on, spit it out. Yes, I have things to do. Well, the thing is she's planning to come and visit me soon. Ah, so you want us out of the way? Yes, but it's not that. Well, 
I kind of need to borrow 10,000 from you guys. I knew she was fake. You're wasting my time. She needs it to pay duty tax on a suitcase full of gold. It was her uncle's. He was the king of Nigeria. Hello. Welcome to Granny's InstaTube. Facegram. Wait, George. What is this thing called again? This, you, you, you face. I, I don't care. This is my product testing channel called I Don't Like It. Today on Granny's channel, I'm going to be testing a knife. Now, this knife, I think, come from Ikea. It has a nice weight. It's good for butter. And it's good for cutting Granny's special curry chicken made with beef. This knife has a good end. This is good for tapping your husband in the morning on the head. You won't kill him. Money well, may be a lot of blood, but it's okay. George, you all right? My true and honest opinion, I don't like it. Next up, we have something my grandson Leon is sent me. It's called a, a bob wheel, a bob a, a wheel with, with, with sticks. George! You're going to have to show me how to use this thing. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Time to test. Okay, everybody. I will test this up. Will. Oh, gosh. Oi. Oh, God. Why are you doing this? Why? So, I just spoke to my grandson. And he tell me that you must roll the wheel. Okay. Here I go. Oh gosh, boy. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I don't like it. Okay, that is it for today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. Next week, I will be testing this wooden spoon. And you may be surprised with my response. Until next time, I don't like it. Welcome to the world of rose. Well, again, we've come to the end of another show. Chris, thank you for joining me with this. Oh, man, I got to tell you, that Trini granny, man, kills me every time, man, you know. It's important. Yeah, see, I can't even do this. Why am I trying uh, to do this? Leave that sketch to me. Or well, listen. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm thinking of coming up with another character. It's similar, but it's called Tranny Granny. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that, that could work. Um... So listen, it's it's just a little bit of you know a little bit of the <laughs> this guy's crazy. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. And if you enjoyed the show, you could still share it right now. And if you feel in a generous mood, yeah, I'm sure you are. Make a little donation. Support the arts. No donation doesn't matter how big. Well, it doesn't matter how small. Well, it doesn't matter how big. Well, you know what I'm talking about. He's not wearing any underwear. Help him get underwear. Because sooner or later, you're going to see him in real life. And we want him to be dressed. So support. <laughs> and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, Chris, see you next week. See you all on the World of Rose. If you haven't already, what?